Okay, so we'll start by standing up nice and tall, pull your tummy muscles in nice and tight, and then when you're ready, we're just going to march on the spot. Can you all still hear me? Thumbs up. Yep, brilliant. Okay, we're going to take a big deep breath in now, so circle the arms, big stretch, and breathe out. And again, breathe in, and breathe out. Last time, deep breath in, and breathe out, well done. Okay, we're going to march the feet wide now, and then when you're ready, we're going to sway from side to side, and I want you to just lift your shoulder to your ear. Last four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to take the arm across. So try and keep your hips forward. Tummy muscles in nice and tight. And you're just pushing across. Well done. Four more. Now we're going to take the arm over the head. Be careful if you've got any lampshades. Big stretch. Last four. Now, take your feet from side to side now. So you're just stepping from side to side. If you haven't got much room, just do smaller movements. And then we're going to add in some arms, elbows in, and a bicep curl. Well done. Eight more. Last four, three, two, heel digs now. So I want you to lift your toes and push the heels forward. Okay, and then add in the arms, push. Just pushing both arms in front. Well done. Last four. Okay, tap out to the side now. So pointing your toes, tapping to the side. Add in the arms, we're gonna push down and out. So I want you to squeeze the muscles in the backs of your arms, press. Last four. Okay, little march. And then come up onto your tiptoes and circle your arms. Big circle. Four more. Now do a little squat now, hands on your thighs, stick your bottom out. Keep both feet flat on the floor. And then your chest goes towards your thighs. Last four. Last two. And march. Well done. Okay, take your feet wide again. And then from the beginning, lift your shoulders. Sway from side to side. Last four. Okay, push across. Last four. Okay, arm over the head, big stretch. Four more. And then side to side with the feet, toe tap. This time we're gonna do an upright row. Lift your elbows out to the side. Last four. Now a hamstring curl now, lift your heel to your bottom. So you want to flex the feet with this one. So you're squeezing the muscles in the backs of the legs. Four more. Now hold it wide, toes out. We're going to squat, plie this time. So this time we don't lean forward, keep your shoulders back. As if you're sliding your back down the wall. Four more. Three. Now hold it down, pull your tummy in, and reach down to your sides. Side bends. So when you're bending, keep your tummy in to protect your back. Last four. Last two. Now arm over the head again, big stretch. Reach towards the ceiling. Last four. Now push across and twist. So 
again, tummy in when you're twisting. Last four. Okay, sway, lift the shoulder. Shoulder to the ear. Last four, three, two, side to side with the feet. Side to side, and then add in the bicep curls. Elbows in, hands to the shoulders. Well done, last four. Heel digs, push forwards. So this time, take your arms a little bit higher and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Push. Four, three, two. Now lift the knee in front. Add in the arms, we're gonna push over the head now. Well done. Last four. Hamstring curl again, heel to bottom. Flex the feet. And this time we're going to circle one arm at a time. Big circles. Any old arm will do, doesn't matter if you get the wrong arm. Last four. Okay, plie squat. Legs nice and wide. This time we're going to take the arms out to the side. So I want you to try and push your arms down as if you're pushing something down. Squeeze. Last four. Last two. Now hold it down again. Side bends. Reach to the side. Keeping the tummy in when you're bending. Last two. And then last time over the head, stretch. Looking from the window above, it's like the story of love. Twist forward. Came back on me yesterday. Last four. And rest. Okay, have a little march. So are you all nice and warm? Thumbs up. Okay, have a quick drink and then we're going to get the weights. So we're going to start with a nice easy one and it's a bicep curl. It works the muscles in the front of the arm, your lifting muscle. Okay, so it's up to you. You can use heavy ones or light ones. I think I'll use light ones today. Okay, so once you've got your weights, get yourself a nice posture. Legs nice and wide. Soften your knees so they're slightly bent. Suck your tummy muscles in, elbows into your waist, palms of the hands forward. Okay, singles, lifting the weights up to your shoulders. So you wanna keep breathing, breathing out as you lift, breathing in as you go down. Don't hold your breath. If you get the breathing the wrong way around, it doesn't matter, as long as you don't hold your breath. Last two. Now we're gonna slow this down. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Four more. So remember to keep breathing. Last three. Last two. And one more time. Now let's go up for one, down for three. Lift. Down, down, down. Up, down, down, and down. Two more. Lift, down, down, and down. One more. Lift, two, three. Up for three now. One, two, three. Control. One, two, three. Don't drop it down too quickly. You need to do everything nice and slow and controlled. Last one. Back to doubles. Up for two. Up. Two, down, two. Last three. Nearly there now. One more time. And then the last set, back to the quick one. Singles, up, down, control. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. Four to go. Three, two, and one. Well done. Okay, put your weights down. Bend your knees when you put your weights down. Watch your back. 
and then we'll just have a little stretch to loosen off the arm. So step from side to side and just roll your shoulders backwards. And then if you can, stretch both arms out to the side and just gently press them back. Perfect. Now put your hands behind your back, lift them up if you can, and then try and squeeze your shoulder blades together and push your chest forward. Keep your head up so you're just feeling a stretch across your chest and in your shoulders. And then the last one, make a nice tight fist and then bring your fist into your shoulders and just squeeze your arms. And roll the arms back, brilliant. Okay, we're gonna go on to the legs now, give the arms a bit of a rest, and we're gonna do our plie squats. So you can hold your weights if you want to, but I wouldn't bother because we've had such a long time off. Just do it without the weights. So legs are wide, toes out. Just pop your hands on your hips, pull your tummy in and plie so it's a little bit like a ballerina you don't lean forward and we're working the muscles in the insides and the outsides of your thighs four more so keep both feet flat on the floor try not to lift your toes hold it down this is optional do a little pulse so this can be quite intense now do as much as you can and then rest when you need to. Okay, let's do that again. Squat and press. So feet are flat on the floor. Keep breathing. Last four. Three, two. Now again, hold it down. This time, we're gonna come halfway up, halfway down. These are called nasties. So again, you can stop. If you're in agony, have a rest. Last two. One more. And slowly come back up. Okay, last set. Singles. If you can't do any more, just have a little march on the spot, okay? I know it's quite painful if you haven't done it for ages. Four more. Last two. Now again, hold it down and do a quick pulse. This is your last pulse. Squeeze. Four, three, two, one, and rest. That's enough of that. Feet together, shake out the legs. Okay, so we're gonna go back onto the arms now, and we're gonna do the tricep, the back of the arm at the top, and this is your pushing muscle. So get your weight, you can use a heavy one if you want to. Be careful you don't drop your beans on your head. So again, legs wide, toes out. So hold the beans or the weights in both hands and take your arms up as high as you can, okay? I'm just gonna turn so you can see. And then we're gonna go all the way down behind the head. So as low as you can and then as high as you can. Last four, three, two, one. Slow it down. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. Two more, keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Last one. Down one, up three. Down, up, up, and up. Down, two, three, four. Down, two, three, and four. One more, down, two, Three, down for three. One, two, three. Push it up. One, two, three. Breathe. One, two, three. Breathe. Last time. Ready for quick ones. Down, up. Down, breathe. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Last four. Nearly there. Three, hang in there. Two, one, ah, oh, well done, put them down. So watch your back when you put them down. And then again, just roll your shoulders back and step from side to side. So 
So again, just easing off those arms, press both arms in front and drop your chin to your chest. Just stretching the shoulders. And then take both arms behind your back again, lift them up, head up, chest up, and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Perfect, roll the shoulders back. So again, we're gonna give the arms a rest and we're gonna go on to the legs. I'm gonna turn sideways so that you can see what we're doing. These are lunges. Again, you can use your weights if you want to, if your legs are quite strong. So we're gonna take the right leg forward and the left leg back. Lift your left heel off the floor. Now keep your shoulders over your hips and we're gonna lower the left knee towards the floor, nice and slow. One, two, up. Two. So try not to lean forward if you can. Keep your right foot flat on the floor. So you're pressing through your toes and your heels. Well done. Four more. Think about your posture, chest up, shoulders back. Last two. One more. Okay, have a little shake. I'm not going to make you do loads of these in one go because you need to be able to walk tomorrow. So other side now. So you want to take your left leg forward and your right leg back. So lift your right heel off the floor. So when you're ready, slowly take it down. So if you're in a lot of pain, just go halfway down. If you go all the way to the floor, it makes it much harder. Try and keep your shoulders back if you can. Last four. Three. Last two. One more time. Perfect, okay, give your legs a little shake. So if you feel that that's enough lunges, you can just do some marching on the spot. We are gonna do one more set feel that that's too much then just march okay so right leg forward again left leg back lift your left heel off the floor hold us back to me here we're going to go down one up three take it down up up and up down up up and up two more one more down for three now one two, three, squeeze it back up. One, two, three, squeeze. One, two, three, last one. And have a shake. Nearly there, you've got one more leg to go and then I'll let you off. So one left leg forward now, right leg back. So you wanna lift your right heel off the floor so you're on your toes. Turn the in, shoulders back. Are you ready? Down one, up three. Down, up, up, and up. Down, two, three, four. Down, two, three, four. One more. Down for three. One, two, three. Come back up. One, two, three. Last two, nearly there. One more. Hey, we made it. Well done, have a shake. Okay, back onto the arms. So we're gonna do lateral raises now. These are much more difficult, yep, lateral raises. So if you want to use your lighter weights, if you've got problems with your shoulders, you don't even have to use any weights. Okay, it's up to you. I'm gonna use my small ones because of my dodgy shoulder. So feet wide, suck your tummy in, bend your knees so they're not locked, just slightly. And do the same with your elbows. So slightly bend your elbows. Your palms are facing your legs, okay? Tummy muscles in and we're gonna slowly lift to shoulder height and lower. Up, two, down, two. So remember it's nice and slow and controlled. Lift, two, down, two, four more. Again, keep breathing. 
So you're breathing out on the hard bit, which is the lift. So breathe out and breathe in. Up for one, down for three. Lift, down, down and down. Lift, two, three, four. Two more. Lift, two, three and four. One more. Lift, two, three. Up for three now. If you're struggling, do one arm at a time. There's always a way. Last two. One more. And then last set, up for two again. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Six to go. Hang in there. Last five, nearly there. Keep breathing. Last four. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Last two. Breathe out. And in. Last one. Ah, oh, wonderful. Put your weights down. So again, we're just going to stretch the shoulders, give them a little circle and tap from side to side. Okay, take your right arm out to the side and then bring it across your chest. Relax your shoulder and use your left hand above the elbow to just gently push up, pull the, el the arm into the chest. So don't pull it too hard. Okay, the other side, left arm out, bring it across, hold above the elbow, relax the shoulder, and just pull it to the chest. Okay, roll the shoulders back. And then arms behind your back again, lift them up, head up, chest up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Okay, back onto the legs now. We don't need any equipment for this. Feet together, knees together, tummy in, hips forward. Hands on the hips. Okay, we're going to lift the right leg out to the side. So not too high. You don't want to be twisting your knee. Keep your knees pointing forward. Four more. Try and stand up straight. Two. Now hold that leg out and do a little pulse. So this is good for your balance as well. Okay, feet together, have a little wiggle. Tummy in again, stand up tall, left leg now. Lift and lower, lift, lower. Six more, five, four, three, two, and pulse. So when you're balancing, you're strengthening your muscles in your joints. Okay, feet together, have a wiggle. End of round one, round two, a little bit harder. Stand up tall, suck it in, right leg again, eight times. So try not to twist. Four more. Three, two, now hold that leg out, flex your foot and bend and straighten your leg. So try not to drop it down, squeeze the back of your leg. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Perfect. Feet together. Have a wiggle. Okay, ready for the left leg. Suck it in and lift. Four more. Three. Two. Okay, hold it out. Flex your foot. Bend the knee. Straighten the leg. So you're squeezing the muscle in the back of the leg at the top. I think I did two too many then. Sorry, I lost count. Have a wiggle. We're going to have odd legs now. Okay, we've got one more set if you can. Again, if you've had enough, just do a little march. So right leg, eight times. Lift. 
So this is good for strengthening your hips and your bottom. Last one, hold it out and pulse if you can. Five, six, seven, eight feet together. Have a little wiggle. Last leg. Ready? Left leg. Lift and lower. Last four. Three. Two. Hold it out and pulse. Five, six, seven, eight, and rest. Well done. Have a wiggle. So you should have felt that in your bum and your hips. So we'll just stretch it now, okay? So if you bend your knees, rest your hands on your thighs, and then stick your bottom up towards the ceiling so you can feel a nice stretch. Okay, keep your hands on your thighs and push on your thighs, roll yourself back up. Have a little shake. And we're going to do upright rows now. So you can use heavy weights for this, but if you haven't done anything for ages, I would just use the light ones. So grab your... You can use threes, but I think anything heavier than threes is going to be a bit of a struggle. Okay, so take your feet wide again. Bend your knees slightly and suck your tummy in. So this time, the palms of your hands need to face your legs, okay? In front. Okay, so when you're ready, lift your elbows. So keep your hands close to your body. And just concentrate on lifting the elbows so that they go to the same height as your shoulders, okay? One more. Up for two. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Four more. So again, keep breathing. Last two. One more. And then we're going to go up one, down three. Lift up, down, down, and down. Up, two, three, four. Up, two, three. Up for three now. One, two, three, down one. One, two, Three, down one, last one. Up, two, three, and down. Singles, quick ones now. Squeeze. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. Nearly there. Last four. Three, two, and one. And rest. Perfect. Okay, pop your weights down again. And then again, just roll your shoulders back and step from side to side. And then stretching both arms in front, press your shoulder blades back, drop your chin to your chest. And then arms behind your back again, lift them up, chest forward. and roll it back. Okay, we're going to do forward squats now. So these ones are for your bottom and your thighs. Okay, so again, you can use your weights if you want to, heavy ones, or you can do it without the weights. So I'm going to turn sideways again. You want to have your toes hip distance apart, okay? Same as what I am now, okay? So your toes should point forward. Pull your tummy in and keep it in. Hands on your thighs, and then this time you're leaning forward so that your chest goes over your thighs. So again, keep both feet flat on the floor. Try not to lift your toes or your heels. Okay, now if you can, if your back is okay, try and reach for the floor and take the arms over the head. It doesn't matter if you can't reach the floor, just go as low as you can. If you've got a bad back, keep your hands on your thighs, just in case. Keep those tummy muscles in, keep them tight. Last time. 
Down one, up three. Take it down, up, up, and up. Down, two, three. Squeeze. Down, two, three. Squeeze. One more. Down for three. Nearly there. Up for one. One, two, three. Squeeze. One, two, three. Last time. And then last set, down for two. Again, if you can't do any more, can rest and march. Press those feet into the floor. Keep your tummy muscles tight. Chest up. Last two, nearly there. One more. And rest. Give your legs a shake. Okay, that does pull on your lower back a little bit, so we'll do a lower back stretch now. Bend your knees, put your hands on your thighs, and then push your hips forward. So you can feel a stretch in the bottom of your back. And then pushing on your thighs, roll yourself back up. Okay, next one. You can use your heavy weights for this one, or whatever you've got. So we're going to do side bends. So you want one weight in, in each hand. Take your feet nice and wide, so you've got more balance. Slightly bend your knees again. Pull your tummy in and keep your shoulders back. Okay, we're going to go down to the right eight times. Are you ready? Take a deep breath and then breathe out as you go down. So remember you're bending, so keep your tummy in so you don't hurt your back. Four more. Last two. Okay, down to the left side now. Again, squeezing your tummy muscles in. Don't let them go. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Right side now. Four times. Two more. Left side. Four times. Right side for two. Left side for two. And then one on each side now. Are you still holding your tummy in? Last four. Nearly there. Perfect. Well done. Okay, you're going to bring your feet together now. Keep hold of your weights. The closer together you have your feet, the more you need to use your balance. So if you're not very good at balancing, take your feet apart a little bit. Okay, we're going to lift up onto our tiptoes. Tummy in. And just lift your heels up and down off the floor. So we're working our calf muscles now. Four more. Last two. Now I want you to do some little bounces now. Just bounce to the beat, see if you can hear it. Five, six, seven, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last time if you can. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and shake out those legs. Did you all feel that? That's nasty, that one, if you haven't done it for ages. Okay, we're going to do a shoulder press now, so I wouldn't use your big weights, I'd use the lighter ones for this. So pick up your small ones. Just keep shaking your legs for a bit longer. Get the feeling back in them. Okay, then if you've recovered, take both feet nice and wide for balance. Bend your knees a little bit, suck your tummy in. So shoulders back, and then you're going to bring your hands to your shoulders with the palms of the hands forward. Okay, and we're going to press over the head. Take a deep breath, and breathe out. Press up. 
you're breathing out on the lift. If you want to, you can do one arm at a time. Two more. Okay, up for two. Slow it down. One, two. Down, two. Up, two. Down, two. Two more. One more. Okay, up one, down three. Up, two, three, four. Up, two, three. Up for three. One, two, three. Bring it down. Nearly there. Hang in there. And then last set, singles. Breathe. Six to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. And rest. I can see you struggling with that one. Put them down. Okay, roll the shoulders back. And then have a little stretch, both arms forward. And then behind your back. Lift them up, head up, chest up. And roll it back. Okay, we're gonna go onto the floor now. So some of you are gonna disappear from my view. So if you've got a mat, put your mat on the floor and you need to get your heavy weights to use it as well. So you're gonna lie on your back. So work in the chest now. So you want to lie on your back, feet on the floor, with your knees bent. So grab your weights. And then you want to bring your elbows so that they're touching the floor. The palms of your hands should be facing forward. Okay? And then we're going to press straight up towards the ceiling. Try not to bend your wrists. Keep your wrists nice and straight. Are you ready? This is a chest press. Press up and down. So you're going straight above your chest, not over your head. Again, you're breathing out as you lift. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Okay, hold your weights above your chest. Turn the palms of your hands so they're facing each other. Slightly bend the elbow, not too much. And then we're going to open out the arms and then bring them back together. So this one's quite slow. So you want to go down, down, up, and up. Open, open, close, and close. So again, you're keeping the weights over your chest, not over your head. Take the arms as wide as you can with a slight bend in the elbow, not too much. Two more. Last one. And then hold it up again. Turn your palms forward again, facing the front, elbows down to the floor, nice and wide. And press straight up again, chest press. So try and touch the floor with your elbows each time can use a bench for this one, but I know some of you haven't got one, so if you've got one, you can use a bench. Last three. Okay, hold it up now. Again, turn your palms so they're facing each other. Slightly bend the elbows and open the arms out to the side. Bring it back to the center. Open and squeeze. So you need to have control of your weights. If your weights are flopping all over the place, it means they're too heavy. You need to be controlled. Keep breathing. Four more. Three. Last two. One more. Okay, hold it up. Turn your hands forward again. Bring the elbows down and with the last time, press. So you're going straight up towards the ceiling, chest press. Keep breathing, nearly there. Last four, three, two, 
one, hold it up, turn the hands together, palms together, open and squeeze, flies, open and squeeze. So remember to breathe, don't hold your breath. Last four, nearly there. Three. Last two. And one more time. Okay, hold it there, bend your elbows completely and then put your weights on the floor down by your sides. So just a little stretch now, take both arms over your head and just relax them down to the floor. Take some nice deep breaths. Okay, so we're gonna do some pelvic tilts now. So you wanna bring your heels quite close to your bottom, stay on your back. Hands down on the floor, palms down. Now we're going to lift the hips up and down off the floor. Okay, so take a deep breath in. Squeeze your tummy muscles and then push with your feet. Lift the hips up and down. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. So try and squeeze the muscles in your bottom and your thighs. Try and keep your feet flat, don't lift your toes. Try and curl your spine if you can. So you're lifting one vertebra at a time. Curling up, curling down. Okay, up one, down three. Squeeze up, down, down, down. Squeeze up, down, down, down. Two more. Up, two, three, four. Up, two, three. Up for three now. One, two, three and down, one, two, three and down, two more, one, two, three, down, last time, one, two, three, singles, up and down, up, down, keep squeezing, we're nearly there, this is the last set, four more, three, two, now let's hold it up, pulse your knees together, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, higher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and slowly curl back down. Well done. Okay, bring your knees into your chest now so you can feel a stretch in your lower back. Just rock from side to side so you're giving your back a little massage. Okay, and then we're going to finish off with some abdominals. So I am going to do quite a lot, so just do as much as you can. Have a little rest whenever you want one and then just join in again when you're ready, okay? So put your hands behind your head, so you're resting the weight of your head in the hands. So we're going to curl the top of the spine off the floor, lifting the head and shoulders. Don't pull on your neck. As you come up, just tuck your chin into your chest to take the pressure off your neck, okay? So when you're ready, again, take a deep breath in, squeeze your tummy muscles and then lift up and down. So you're curling up, curling down, tucking the chin under so you can feel the top of your spine curling. And you're breathing out as you lift. Rest the weight of your head in your hands like a shelf. Four more. Last two. Okay, rest. Now we're going to twist the right shoulder to the left side, okay? Take a deep breath in. Squeeze your tummy and twist. Lift the right shoulder towards the left leg. Keep breathing out as you lift up. Tummy muscles are tight the whole way through. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Okay, change sides. Left shoulder. Twist, squeezing the tummy, not pulling on your neck. Four more, three, two, and one. 
Okay, rest the head back down. And then we're going to go back to the beginning, lifting forward. Tuck your chin under, take a deep breath in. Off you go. Curl up, curl down. Just resting the weight of your head in your hands. Squeeze. Last two. And relax. Okay, this time your right shoulder is going to come towards your left knee, but you're going to lift your foot off the floor. Okay, left foot. Ready? Take a deep breath in. And try and get your elbow to touch your knee, if you can reach. If not, don't worry. Just lift as high as you can. Tapping the floor each time. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Okay, feet down, head down. So left shoulder to the right knee this time. Breathe in, tummy in, and lift. So you're lifting your foot off the floor, keeping the knee bent. Squeezing the tummy muscles as you lift and breathing out. Four more. Three. Last two and rest. Okay, last time we're going to come forward again. So curling the spine in forward. Breathe in. Tummy muscles in. Tuck your chin under and curl the top of the spine off the floor. Curl up and down. Last four. Three. Two. Okay, let's hold it up now. I want you to take your right hand to your right side, keep the head and shoulders lifted, and we're going to reach the hand down to the right foot, side bend, reach, reach, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, so you're reaching your right hand towards your right foot, four more, you might not be able to touch your foot, that's fine, but that's what you're aiming for, okay, swap hands, left hand, Get ready, and twist down to the left side this time. Last four, three, two, and one. Okay, head down, stretch both legs straight, arms over the head, and just make yourself as long as you can. Stretching all those tummy muscles. Okay, we've got one more or two more things to do and then we'll have a stretch. Okay, so we're gonna lift the feet off the floor this time and cross your ankles over. So just let your ankles hang down by your bottom. Again, put your hands behind your head. So this time we're gonna curl the top of the spine and the bottom of the spine. So it's like you're curling yourself into a little ball, okay? So when you're ready, hands behind the head, take a deep breath in and curl. So this time, both elbows, try and touch both knees. Breathing out as you lift. Last four. And one. Okay, have a little breather. And then the last one is a double twist. So if you uncross your ankles, and we're going to twist the right shoulder to the left knee and then the left shoulder to the right knee. Okay, so it's one on each side. Flex both feet, breathe in, and twist right and left. So you can make this harder by extending the legs towards the floor and straightening them. You can make it easier by taking the legs towards the ceiling. So it's up to you. Eight more. And rest, well done. Okay, stretch out again. Arms over the head, legs straight, make yourself as tall as you can.
And then when you're ready, I want you to bend your knees and roll over onto your side first, and then onto your tummy. So if you put your on the floor and then just lift your chest up so you can feel a stretch down your tummy muscles. Just hold it there. And then when you're ready, put both hands on the floor, push yourself up and come onto all four, so you're on your hands and your knees. And then if you drop your head down, drop your head down, press your shoulders back, and push your hips forward, so you're like an angry cat, like a humpback bridge. So we're just stretching out the spine and the muscles in the back. Okay, now sit your bottom onto your heels. Stretch both arms as far forward as you can. Keep your arms straight if possible. Let your head relax down. And then gently just press both hands into the floor. So you can feel a stretch all down the arms. Okay, come back up onto all fours and then I want you to sit on your bottom and cross your legs like a Buddha. Just turn this music down a little bit. I don't think you can hear it anyway, but it's really loud in here. Okay, so we're sitting with the legs crossed. Hopefully you're all happy with that. I can't see some of you, you've disappeared. Okay, so with your back nice and straight, I want you to just lean forward so you feel a stretch in your lower back. Now, if you're not very flexible, put your hands behind your back and you can push from behind. So you're putting your hands on the floor behind you and just pushing from behind. So try and keep your back straight and then keep increasing the stretch if you can, bit by bit. So you'll feel it in your back, in your lower back and in your hips your bottom. Okay, slowly come back up and then put your left hand flat on the floor and take your right arm above your head so your arm is right by your ear and then leaning on your left hand slowly take it over to the side. Try and keep your arm back if you can and then if you're quite flexible you can get your elbow on the floor and lean over a little bit further. You do need to keep that arm back though so you can feel the stretch all the way down the sides, down your sides. Okay, before you come back up, I want you to bring your arm in front of you and then push yourself up. Okay. Do the other side now. So you want your left arm right by your ear, put your right hand flat on the floor and then start to bend that right arm and lower yourself down. And then same again, if you can, get your elbow on the floor. Keep in the arm so you can feel the stretch all the way down your side. Just holding it nice and still. Okay, bring the arm forward now. And then I want you to put both hands on the floor behind you with your fingers pointing towards the back wall. Okay. Bend your elbows first, keep the hands flat on the floor and then I want you to push with the heels of your hands, keeping the elbows bent and open up your chest. It's a really good chest stretch, so stick your chest out as far as you can and now take two big deep breaths. Your chest expanding even more. Deep breath in. Right now. Well done, okay, roll your shoulders back and then we're going to stretch both legs straight out in front of you and then cross your right foot over your left foot. Keep your left foot nice and straight 
and then pushing from behind, lower your chest towards your thigh. So again, try and keep your back straight. So you should feel this in the side of your leg at the top of your left leg. If you feel it in your hamstrings, it just means that you're not tight on the side. So that's actually a good thing. Try and increase the stretch if you can. Don't force it though, it should be a nice stretchy feeling, not painful. If it's painful, just ease off a little bit. Okay, come back up and then swap your legs around the other way. So you're crossing your left leg over your right foot. Okay, hands behind. Keep your right foot nice and straight. And then when you're ready, push forward gently until you feel the stretch in the side of the leg or maybe in the back of your leg. A little bit further if you can. And slowly come back up. Okay, you're gonna put the soles of your feet together now. Okay, if you can, then lift yourself off the floor with your hands and slide yourself forward a little bit more. And then holding on to your feet, you're gonna pull yourself forward. If you're comfortable like that, you can get your elbows on your knees and gently push your, push your, push your knees towards the floor. Not too hard. Okay, come back up and then we're gonna do a straddle now. So I want you to take your legs as wide as you can, as long as you can keep your knees straight. So your knees need to be completely straight, okay? If they're bending, bring them a bit closer together. Lift yourself up, slide yourself forward. Okay, now try and just relax your legs. And then if you're not very flexible, put your hands behind and push from behind. If you're quite bendy, you can bring your arms to the front, wherever feels comfortable for you. So just gently lean forward now until you feel the stretch in your hamstrings and the backs of your legs at the top. So it should be a nice stretchy feeling, don't press it too hard. And then as you get more comfortable, you can go down a little bit further, bit by bit. If you want to do some gentle bouncing, that's fine, but only gently, not too hard. Keep Try and keep your legs relaxed. So if you sit here for long enough, you should be able to get your chest on the floor eventually. <laughs> Apart from you, Alan. Okay, keep going bit by bit, a little bit further. Okay, slowly come back up and then slide your feet together and just give your legs a little shake now. <laughs> okay, and then if you bring your knees into your chest, put your feet on the floor, hold around the fronts of your knees with both arms. Now pull your knees towards your chest so you can feel the muscles in your back tightening. So pull them in and squeeze. Okay, relax. Now we're going to try and get up now. So put your hands on the floor, push yourself up so you're on your toes and your hands. And then slowly now, just straighten your legs as much as you can. And then you're going to press your chest towards your thighs. Okay. 
Okay, and just one more stretch for the back. Round your back now, arch your back as much as you can so your hands come off the floor. Straighten your legs. And then just let your hands hang. So let your head relax. And then just hang like a rag doll and just do some little swingy circles with your arms. So let the arms swing in circles, no effort. Make sure your back is rounded. Okay, now just take the circles the other way. Okay, now we're going to take a deep breath in now. Squeeze your tummy muscles, bend your knees, put your hands on your thighs and then push on your thighs and slowly roll up to a stand. And then once you're up, just give your feet a little paddle to stabilise your blood pressure and then roll your shoulders backwards. You're all still alive then. Did you go and have a cup of tea? <laughs> okay, and then take both feet nice and wide now, toes out, and then if you're just gonna cross the arms, take a deep breath in, bend the knees, watch the lampshades, big stretch, and breathe out. And again, breathe in, circle the arms, Big stretch, squeeze the muscles in your back and breathe out. And one more time, big deep breath in. Stretch and squeeze and breathe out. And that is it, torture over. Give yourselves a big clap, well done guys. Okay, so if you're on Zoom, you can put your mics back on now.